Spring 2021 is coming to a wrap, and with it, a lot of huge names are reaching their end, or in some cases, just the midway point. And by most standards on my anime list, seasonal anime above 8 stars are considered to be part of the best of the best batch. To Your Eternity, Tokyo Revengers, Fruits Basket. There's a lot of good anime this season. But what was absolutely criminal this season is how underrated Odd Taxi, my personal favorite show of the season, ranked among these anime. Clocking in at the 26th most popular anime this season, even behind absolute mid shows like Full Dive and <coughs> Eden Zero, despite its high score overall, it's still insanely underrated. As an original mystery anime, yo, hold on, is that? Wait, wait. wait. Are all the characters animals? Well, yeah, but. Oh my god, you furry! Ew, bro, you nasty! Zootopia looking furry. Furry, furry, furry. Why are we still here? <clears throat> Certain perceptions, I'd say, of anime like Beastars with animal casts have kind of tarnished their reputation as a whole, even though I hear the Beastars manga is actually great. But I must say, do not sleep on Odd Taxi. Odd Taxi is an original mystery anime out this season, 13 episodes, and it's truly a diamond in the rough, not just in the spring 2021 season alone, but among all anime in general in my opinion. It is so incredibly interesting, with such a fresh take on storytelling, akin to anime like Bakano if you're familiar. The story follows the rather eccentric walrus Odokawa, your everyday taxi driver really. But it is through this taxi, this physical and metaphorical vehicle that drives the show forward, and we get intertwined in this vast web of characters and storylines that are so beautifully dynamic in their own ways. Kabasawa, a hippo who will do anything to get famous. Yamamoto, a fox and manager of an idol group that is embroiled in an underground scheme. Tanaka, an eraser collector turned gacha game addict turned villain. And Yano, my personal favorite, a scooter riding porcupine and gangster who only talks in rhyme. Seriously, guys, check this out. These parts really reminded me of like the rap verses they had in Devilman Crybaby, if you're familiar. And it's just so much fun. This hip hop beat cues every single time he talks, and he rides it every time. And that's not to mention just how well the soundtrack fits every other part of the show, it's not just these moments specifically. I feel like recently with Record of Ragnarok, I've been riding a bit of an OST appreciation wave, and Odd Taxi has a great one. Especially the opening, it is this beautiful JRNB track that always starts every episode off with the right mood. I'll get copyrighted probably if I play it, so just look it up on your own time, but it's great, it's awesome. The soundtrack works perfectly with the mysterious moments and the exciting ones, it just, it's beautiful. Anyway, back to the plot. As I said earlier, the format of storytelling is very similar to Bakano, if you've watched it. If you haven't, it essentially means we follow multiple characters on their own independent stories that all eventually intertwine in one way or another. It's always a bit confusing at first, because there's so many things going on at once, but it makes it perfect for mystery stories. You slowly unravel pieces of each person's story, and it's just so satisfying once they finally come together. And what is great about how Odd Taxi does it is how all of the pieces connect to Odokawa, our main character. He is the central piece somehow, despite him being probably one of the least charismatic. Odokawa is difficult to describe. He's extremely blunt and straight to the point, he's kind of a mood killer. And in a story that is so clouded in mystery and deceit and gangsters trying to get their own way, he does stand out still as a great protagonist. Somehow through his taxi he becomes involved in the case of a missing girl that the police have been tracking. And this, unfortunately, through reasons I won't spoil, attracts the attention of Yakuza and corrupt cops and, somehow, 
an idol group too. I don't know. And in a way, I think that making all of the characters animals really did serve an important purpose in the show besides just a stylistic decision. It doesn't just give each person a distinct look, but it furthers the sense of variety within the show. As I was saying earlier, we've got idols and fans of idols and comedians trying to make it big and Brazilian street fighters slash doctors. And by making them all these different animals, it contributes to the almost absurdity of the anime and the individualistic character of all of them. But when I said absurd, it's not to say the show is unrealistic, really. No one has outrageous strengths or powers or anything like that. The absurdity lies in the stories and the coincidences or events that bring all of these very different characters together. For example, the show starts off with this hippo, Kabasawa, getting into Otakawa's taxi. He takes a selfie with Otakawa in another futile attempt to go viral on Twitter, but then he actually does, because he accidentally captures Dobu in the background of the photo, who is a notorious criminal. And then Dobu comes to threaten Otokawa, but it's not even because of that photo, but because Otokawa gave a ride to the missing girl in the past, who, for some reason, is now being tracked by gangsters. Every storyline somehow connects to one another and makes a new mystery in the process, and it's all just very, very well done. The show is very much a slow burner. I'd say only halfway or maybe three quarters through the show do you really finally have a full grasp on the entire situation involving Otokawa and his taxi. But that's not to say that it's ever boring because the characters really drive this show forward and keep it constantly interesting. The first half of the show basically just consists of like short skits following each other, most of them taking place in Otokawa's taxi. It lets you not just get to know the cast, but sometimes even gives like important insights into life, despite coming from an animal's mouth. If you like the Monogatari series, for example, that really dialogue-intensive and expressive aspect of it, then the first half of this series will really hit home for you, I'm sure, as it did with me. And the second half collects everything you've learned, the interconnections between all these characters, and really turns it into an overarching plot that you can follow. I really liked Odd Taxi because this kind of mystery, one that doesn't depend heavily on, say, action or fighting, and is pretty solely devoted to just unraveling questions and an intriguing story, isn't something I see often in anime or at least not as often as I would like to see it. Even shows like Bakano have a lot of action and fantasy elements stacked on top of it. But Odd Taxi is really just an eccentric, unique, and character-driven mystery that really drew me in and didn't let go until I caught up. This series is way too underrated for how good it is, and I'm glad at the very least that its overall rating is still high despite the smaller fanbase. If you haven't checked it out yet, I highly recommend it, as its last episode airs next week. I'm very excited to see how all of these different stories and questions get answered, and I'm confident that it will cement the top spot for me personally this season, despite just how strong Spring 2021 was. What do you guys think of it if you've seen it? If you haven't, thoughts? As always, this has been the Anime Culture Corner. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe for future in-depth show manga and character analyses.